Hello, Music 110 students at Babel Tech Community College. My name is Alicia Tanya Murphy, and I'm your instructor for this semester. First thing is, we do not have a set place and time for a meeting each week. That means that you do not have to meet for class. You do not have to turn on Zoom or Google Meets for class. You do not have to go anywhere on campus. The class is either going to be eight weeks or it's going to be 16 weeks, which is a full semester from August to December, okay? Um, and you will know that according to which one you signed up for. It's also in the syllabus and you can see the dates there as well. So I'm going to go over a few things about the class to help you navigate. Trust me when I say, this will significantly help you. So if you ask me questions in an email, the first thing I'm gonna say is, did you watch my video? And if you say no, I'm gonna say, well, you could have solved all of your problems there. So I'm happy to help you. Um, I grew up in Fayetteville. I've taught actually at John Griffin. Um, and um, I taught band at John Griffin and Jack Britt and Douglas Bird, and um, I even went to Methodist University for a short time and was in the Fayetteville Symphonic Band there. Um, so I know the area well. Hope Mills, Grays Creek live there as well. Um, I now live in Wake Forest. So by day, I am a band director in Hillsboro, North Carolina. And um, I'm very excited to have you here this semester. My job is to help you be more successful throughout the semester. You're going to have an overview at the beginning of basic elements of music. What are woodwind instruments? What are brass? If you are in band or chorus, um, you, this is going to be very simple for you. Um, we're going to go over form and melody and harmony and just dive in a little deeper into what music um, is and the structure. We're going to talk about genres um, and genres of music like pop and then there's country and, and then there's levels of that. There's bluegrass. So those are what we call genres. Um, and then we're going to go through the musical periods. So yes, we're going to start with what you consider classical, where it was a lot of string instruments and go through that all the way to current. And we finish the semester with you being able to do a small project on your favorite band or artist, artist being musician. Um, and um, you get to express something that you love. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, share my screen. <clears throat> okay, so um, what we're looking at is we're looking at um, a Blackboard course for the fall of 2022, whether you're in the fall or the spring, and it tells you up here your number. Um, and um, if you notice, there are five tabs here. Now, for those of you who have used Blackboard before, Music 110 this fall is in Blackboard Ultra. So it looks a tiny bit different, okay? So um, if you notice here um, is, um, my, this is myself. This is, um, I go by Tanya, but my first name's Alicia, where you can send me messages. Um, and um, you can see here to the left, it, it shows your attendance, some announcements, tools, roster, view everyone in your course. Um, and right here is course content. Now, in this course content, it's only going to show you something we're working on or have worked on. So we have eight modules. If you notice, you only see module one here. And that's because they open up right before those dates start. So module one is 815 to 828. The next module will open up right before 829. That way you can focus on what we're doing one thing at a time and not get overwhelmed. So this is the important part of the structure of the course. First thing you need to know is this, because we don't meet in person, you have to do 
um, one assignment first. So the course introduction talks about how this course works. Meet your instructor. It has my information, my email, my phone number, the syllabus. That gives you the guidelines and outlines of the dates. You need student support for technical help. You want to know about a policy. Maybe you get sick or maybe you need to take a couple of weeks off or maybe um, you're unsure about something. Policies here. You need academic support for other things. It's all right here under the syllabus and um, how this course works. Okay. Um, so next we have orientation activity. If you notice, it says must be completed by August 24th. Guess what? All you have to do in this activity is tell me about yourself. You don't have to read anything, nothing. It's just tell me about yourself. That tells me you are going to participate in the class for the semester. That must be done by that date or the college withdraws you. So make sure you notice that date. Then we have module one. This is where you will come every time you do work. Now, my suggestion to you is set aside two days a week to do your work for the course. Um, we always note that they usually end at the end of every week or every two weeks. This one has the date, 815 to 828. Um, 828 is a Sunday. So every Sunday night, you have coursework due. Maybe for you, that means you get it done on Saturday. Maybe for you, that means you set aside and do it Wednesday because you have plans on the weekend or you have activities with your kids or your friends. Um, then you set aside the day, but you have it in by the 28th um, or that, that date notice. Let's say you run into a big, big, big problem and you get behind. Um, and you do one assignment, then does that mean you quit the class or you drop it? No, that just means you communicate with your teacher and we talk about giving you a few days, but then you meet that so that you don't get too far behind. Um, but you always do at least one assignment so that I see that you're present. Because again, if you don't do any assignments, we see that you're absent, you're absent too many days and you're dropped. So just remember to adhere to the dates. In this module one, as you can see, it just simply says, hey, what are we doing? Four things here. Module introduction, you click on it. It tells you, hey, these are the things you're learning about. Then it says, what do you have to do? So it says module one, your assignment have links. You have two weeks in this one. Check the syllabus. Check this, do this module. Here we go, discussion board, register your book, two quizzes, that's it. That's all it is. So um, then you come out of here, you wanna go into the book. The book is going to be, the book materials are going to be underneath it. Here's my ebook. So you have a book on the computer. It is an interactive online textbook. You will not have a hardback book. The only way you can have a hardback book is if you go ahead and purchase one from like Amazon or the bookstore, but that's on you if you have to have this in your hands. If not, I, you know, I suggest don't get this because it's gonna cost you a lot of extra money unless you can find one cheaper but your book is here on the computer, okay? You do have to register your name and your book information in order to connect to our course. When you click on example, unit one is 12 chapters. Seems like a lot, but guess what? Some of the chapters are only two pages long. That is nothing. Here is one whole chapter, it's done. So keep in mind and not to be overwhelmed. Remember, this is college. It's not eighth grade. Then you have playlist. So it told you that do this module 
you have to do two quizzes and the online get to know you. That's all you have to do. So here's the, um, so once you do that, you will go into it. You will do the icebreaker assignment. The icebreaker assignment is in the discussion board. Discussion board is like having a class meeting and we're discussing. So it says, welcome students. This is due August 25th. Please tell me about yourself and things about yourself. Here's an example. Then it tells you how to respond. You will respond and then type a response. After a few days, you'll, you'll comment on somebody's answer. Like, oh, great to meet you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you do that assignment, then you do the quiz. So here's the last thing I'm pretty much gonna show you. This is very important. So you go ahead and you take the quiz. The quiz is the neatest thing. But starting today. So question number one says, it is on page 40 and 44. Let's say you haven't read it. You can't answer this. You can click on pages. It will give you specifically the area where the answers are. Holy goodness, why couldn't they have this all the way through school? So it says drag the instrument names to this corresponding image of the instrument. So they want you to drag the names of this to the picture, okay? Now, here's where it gets fun. Before you drag the name, look right here. You think you know it? You have no idea it's hard, or you know it. If you know it, know it, know it, you're gonna get higher points. So here we go. French horn, boom. Okay, tuba, boom. It says oboe, I'm gonna pull down, boom. And cello, boom. I just received, a hundred points because I knew it. Next question. Okay. Let's go back down to I think I know it. So what keyboard instrument is used in this clip? It'll play something. I can't hear it. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. And you listen to it and I go, you know what? I think it's the organ. It is the organ but I, I'm gonna select the piano to be wrong. Let's say I have no idea. If I go, no, I have no idea. I only lost 20 points. But then I ended up only losing 10 because I got it right. So you keep answering questions until this quiz tells you you're done. You have to answer. See, it says you must answer at least 18 more questions to receive a grade. Here's your current grade. Percussion instruments are pitched or unpitched. You go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to the middle. Um, hmm, they're pitched or unpitched. Let's say you don't know. Okay, so you just got 50 points. Okay, it says what, in, what family is the flute in? Let's say you go, you know what, I know this. Boom, holy goodness, you just got 100 points. And if you notice, it's gonna go up from there and you keep going. Um, which ones are not woodwind instruments? Okay, I'm gonna pick an obvious, obvious cello, okay. Wow, I just lost hundred points because it was under, I know it, I know it. That's how easy and fun the quizzes are, okay. Um, last but not least, the discussion board, um, is due every week, very easy to do. So that's it for the course. Um, you'll have to register your ebook. There will be certain directions for that. I hope this helps you a lot. Good luck this semester. Bye-bye.